Hello and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome to my channel. If you're new make sure that you subscribe down below. So today we're doing something a little different. No hauls. We are doing a story time on how I went to Turkey and got my teeth done nine months ago. That's right. These aren't mine. These are Zacronian veneers, crowns, whatever you want to call them. This is a long one. It's not paid. It's not sponsored. I want to be as transparent as possible. You know, I have nothing to do with the company that did this. They haven't asked me to do this. Nothing I thought. I'm just sharing with you my experience of getting them done. So, you know the usual. Grab your drink. I have a cap to wagon again, guys. I have a problem. No judgment. Remember we told you. No judgment here. I would say if you're screamish or you don't like nasty things, maybe you shouldn't watch this because my teeth were so bad. It's going to be pictures throughout my teeth in different stages, file down, what they were like before, after. You can clearly see after now, which is why I wore my red lipstick because they make them shine. Um, so yeah, if you want to know about going to Turkey to get your teeth done, keep watching. I want to start out by saying this is not something that I just decided overnight. I was getting veneers. This is something I've been talking about for the longest time. I mean, I was probably 18 first time I said I want veneers I was 25 to get them done so seven years do you know it's not a quick decision not something I just thought up of I know like right now they're really really popular everyone's going getting their teeth done you know that's fair enough but back when I was 18 seven years well eight years ago now seven years by the time I'd got them done it wasn't something that everyone was getting done I didn't know anyone else who had veneers um so that's out of the way we 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 me and my mum went together and got our teeth done. So she done the hard part. She found who we were going to go to. She done the flights. She done everything. Typical Irish mummy. Shout out to my mum. So basically what happened was summer last year, summer 2019, she found a group of people on Facebook. A dentist, um, veneer company who are the woman who brings you is Irish. So it's an agent, it's a booking agent here in Ireland. And they bring you to Turkey basically. She found them and she started investigating and looking into them and, oh, yeah, that's right, wreck the bed joke, it's grand. Um, she done the hard part, she found who we were going to. So she found these people on Facebook, they were called LA Veneers. Um, I will link them down below, that is who we went to. And she was the one who started messaging back and forth and decided whether we'd go with them or not. So the first thing she done once she found them was she had text them on Facebook to get prices, what we'd need, you know, stuff like that. And what they do is basically they ask you for different pictures of your mouth, like opened to the side, stuff like that. And then they'll tell you what they would recommend for you and a price. So this was summer 2019 and we had planned to go in summer 2020. That was our original plan. We would go this year. Obviously, I'm so happy now that we didn't, because if we did, you know, flights, we mightn't have got there. Um, and I definitely won't be on YouTube if I hadn't got there, because my teeth were really, really getting me down. So, that was in the summer of last year. And once she had texted them and got priced and stuff, she started going through the reviews. She she actually added people on Facebook that were on their page who had got their teeth done with them to see, like, was it genuine? Did they have a good experience? Was it all it was made out to be? Everything like that. Let me say me and my mother are terrified of dentists. This was just like so scary to us. But we'll fast forward now to September of 2019 and the LA Veneer page is run by a woman called Lisa. She texted my mom. She was like, you know, I'm going on, I can't remember the date, but it was a Thursday. Um, and it was like, this was like a Monday. She was like, I am going Thursday and I have space for two more if you're interested. So I was in work. My mom rings me. She's like, you know, Lisa said we could go this week. I'm like, what? This week? Like, you know, it was becoming a reality. I was absolutely shitting myself. Um, and that's how quick, like, you know, we actually went. We had planned it. We knew we were going to go get them done. But we thought we were going to get them done the following year. But the chance came and we took it. We jumped it. We were like, let's do this. So Thursday comes around. And me and my mum, we get the bus to Dublin Airport. Get there to, it's a Terminal 1. The one that flies to non-EU destinations. Didn't know Turkey wasn't in the EU. I'm no scholar, lads. Everyone knows I'm not a scholar. I did not know. Used to think Limerick was the capital of Cork. You know, don't come for me. So we get to some airport and when we get there, we meet Lisa. You know, we go through security, everything. Everything's fine. 
we get on the plane, we won't always sit next to each other and we're like, what's, what if this is a scam? What if we get there and she's gonna like, take our money or we're gonna get kidnapped or you know? We're just thinking like all these crazy things because we're going to a foreign country to get our teeth done, you know, it's scary. It is so scary. And we're sitting on the plane, we're like two quite little ducks together like, oh, what's gonna happen? You know, is it gonna be pain? Are they gonna be okay? Are we gonna come out with these big bricks in our face? I'm terrified. Um, so we landed in Turkey that night, Thursday night, and when we got off the plane and everything, there's two men waiting for us. Now I should say, we went as a group of five, not including Lisa. So there was me and my mum, there was another mother and daughter duo, the mum was getting her teeth, the daughter wasn't, she just came as company. I'm not going to name any names because you know, some people like to say they've happened on, some people don't, and there was a man as well. So there was Lisa, the booking agent, and five people, me and my mum being two. So we get off and the flight, we come out, um, there's six of us all together including Lisa, we go outside and there's two men waiting for us. Erdenes? Am I saying this name right? I think it's Erdenes, Erdenes, I'm sure I was calling him. And he's the owner of the dentist surgery that we went to and there's a translator with him too. Um, his name was Lewis, if I remember. I know their translators change back and forth over there because their seasons work different. But yeah, there was a translator and the owner there and they had this big fancy black hair and they picked us up. So they pick us up and they bring us to our hotel now. When we were booking, because we obviously booked in short notes, Lisa said to us, I can get you a really good deal in a hotel, it's the one I stay in, blah, blah, blah. We took it, you know. So the translator and the owner, Air Denise, they bring us to our hotel, drop us off, we check in, we get our room. Brilliant, everything's fine. We go to bed, it's late, you know. I think we got a ham and cheese toastie or something and went to bed. We were told then, before we went to bed, we were told that night by Lisa, like, oh, you know, this is how it works tomorrow. So basically, we go as a group to the dentist surgery. We get seen one by one. We were told what time we were getting picked up, everything like that. And that is included in the price, your transport. Like, you know, they pick you up at the airport, they bring you. And then when you're needed in the dentist, they bring you back and forth. And they drop you to the airport when you're going home. So that's another point I should make. Because I thought that was fantastic. We get up the next morning. It's Friday, you know. Nervous as fucking hell. Me and my mother were like, oh, this is happening, this is real. We're out here, you know, no turning back. So we get picked up by the translator again and the owner, Lisa's with us. Um, I have to say Lisa made this experience for me, but we'll get to that, we'll get to that. So we get picked up and we're brought to the dentist surgery. And I just have to say, this place was so clean. I mean like, I've been to dentists. I know I'm scared of them, but I have been to dentists here in Ireland and they do not like what their surgeries look like over there. This place is immaculate, you know. When you're coming, you have to put these like little sock put things on over your shoes or on your bare feet and leave your shoes off. You know, it is spotless. I would eat my dinner off any part of it. And one by one, we start going in. Um, so it gets to my turn. I'm in the chair, I lie down, he has a look at my tea. And I'm so used to telling dentists, because I have been in Ireland, um, you know, my tea are so, so bad. I'm going to show a picture now, we'll see how my editing is. You know, a little, this is what my tea used to look like. There was no judgement. I felt so at ease, like that was the first part that I was like, okay. There was no judgement like, oh, what are you doing, why are your teeth like this, you know. So that made me feel a bit better. They check over my teeth, um, I had to go through a like form that was like basically, am I allergic to anything, any health issues, was it pregnant, stuff like that that they make you go through. Um, they check over your teeth and that's when they decide if you need extractions, root canals, anything like that at all. My mum did. My mum needed, I think she had six extractions and eight root canals. You know, like she had a lot. I didn't need any. They gave me either two or four injections. And it was like right at the back on each side. I think it was four, two up here and two down here. This was nine months ago, so. Um, and I was like, oh, is this going to be enough? Am I going to feel things, you know? Like four injections, what, what's that going to do for me? So yeah, so the dentist is like looking at my mouth, making sure everything's okay. He does the injections. Um, Yusuf was his name, Yusuf was the dentist. Lovely guy, really nice, really made me feel at ease. And then they get straight to it. They start filing my teeth down to baby shark teeth. So I have crowns, like full crowns. And I opted for Zacronian veneers, okay? I had 22 Zacronian veneers. Is that how you say it? Zacronian? Guys, like, I'm no Scottish, okay? But you can have porcelain or Zacronian, if that's how you say it. Porcelain is cheaper, okay? So you can probably knock, I don't know how much it is, maybe a thousand quid off the price of your teeth by going with the porcelain. They don't last as long, and I think they're a bit more transparent, personally. I went with the Zacronian, 22. It works out 
150 per tooth. Um, so I had 22 of them. 150 per tooth. And that covers any extractions or root canals that you need. So I'm lying there. And guys, I must have been high. Those injections must have got me high or something. I'm sat there with like this little thing hanging out my mouth to suck out any water or anything. And he starts filing away at the tea. And he's got like this mask on, you know, in case I don't blood or tea or whatever flies. And I'm just sitting there laughing. I'm fucking laughing. Like, he's trying to drink my tea and I'm laughing. Because like, I've had stuff done here in Ireland. I've had injections with dentists. This shit was much stronger. I felt so much better because it was stronger. He shaves me down, I see him. I've got a little shark tea. I'm like, oh my god. This is my real tea. It was an improvement to what I had. I'll add some pictures. Um, I was like, fuck. This is it. Like, I, I can't go back. There is no going back. After they're all filed down, I get four impressions. So two of the top, two of the bottom. Um, over my shark tea. And two of them, so one top and bottom, was to make my temporary veneers. And the other was to make my real veneers. So you're left then to sit aside for a bit with your little shark tea. Not outside, like in the waiting room while someone else is having their turn. And then when your temporary veneers are, there, are ready, they put them in. That was on a Friday. So I had to wear those, the temporary ones, for Saturday and Sunday. You would not know they are temporary. I could have flew home with them. If I'd lost my balls, I could have went home with them. You know, they are just pulling, pulling. Like they never came out of my mouth the whole weekend. I was eating, I was drinking, I was fine. They never came out. Uh, my mum, obviously she did a lot more work done than I did. She was in pain afterwards. I don't know if it was the extractions through her canal. She was in a little bit of pain. She got one painkiller from Lisa and that was her. She didn't need any more for the rest of the weekend. She had to go back on Saturday and get some more work done. I didn't. So I had some free time. I went to the beach, you know, I was living my life. I was out at the pool. It was like 25 degrees, loving life. So I spent the weekend in my temporary veneers, me and my mom, loving them, by the way. We're like, well, we just leave with these, <laughs> you know. Uh, no pain so far for me. A little bit of pain so far for my mother, probably because of how much she's had. One pain could have sorted. Sunday comes around, more free time to do as we please. Lisa actually, so Lisa comes to you from Ireland to Turkey. She goes back at you. When she's over there, she makes sure you get the best deals on everything. She brought us to the markets and the markets in Turkey are insane. I love me a fake something something. So this was right up my street able to show us where has the best deals what quality is better you know what's gonna last where not to shop like I went to one of these particular shops with her um Remy was his name lovely guy gives you great deals like you know there's people there and they were getting their oh service for 25 quid I'm with Lisa 1250 you know like phew, mind blow it Lisa's with you the whole time she tells you if you're not happy with your tea you tell them you tell us what you want. I get to go through shade charts of how I want my veneers to look like. Um, obviously, I have an overbite. It's very slight. It's not that noticeable, but I want it to look as natural as possible. I just want my teeth to look like I have great teeth. I don't want people to be looking at my mouth thinking, veneers, crowns, you know, you've had work done. Not because I'm ashamed of it, just because I like a more natural look, okay? Um... So yeah, Lisa really made the experience for me, I have to say that. There was that kind of comfort and security with her going with you. That you're like, you know, I'm in safe hands. This woman, like, she brought us out for dinner, like, as a group, all of us. Um, she was bringing us to the beach, she was bringing us to markets. Um, in the night, we went down and seen street performers. We went to restaurants. And she gets you that, like, this woman. This woman knows turkey, you know, um... She's been there the last 20 years. She's had her own teeth done. Like, that was a really good sign for me. She's had her teeth done here in this dentist. Like, I don't know if she's a partner, she's a boss, but, you know, she she made it for me. She's part of the experience. That's one reason that when I go back to Turkey and I get more surgery, I'm going to Lisa for advice to see if she knows if she does anything like that. And she did a, you know, you know, I'm like a little fangirl here. I'm like a fangirl about Lisa. So Monday comes around and it's my turn to go get my teeth. I'm ready for these to come off and I am ready to get my real ones. I am so excited. Comes around, it's Monday. Translator and dentist pick me up again, bring me there. And my temps come off. My mouth tastes like shit. Like literal shit. 
Like I've gone into a field and I'm just out harsh shit. The taste of my mouth is so bad. I'm assuming it's for my teen upping version of the weekend. Food getting in under him, you know. Stuff like that, very normal. Um, what I do remember is the sensitivity of my teeth. So obviously they're all filed down. They're filed down and whatnot. So it is sensitive. Um, you're not there for very long and I was brought into room and I was shown my individual crown veneers. Oh, they looked so good. I, I, I wanted to cry, honestly, I wanted to cry. So I see them and then they tell us like these have to go in one by one. And they need to be pushed right up into your gum. So they start one and two and they're pushing. And like obviously there's something in them, like inside the crown, which are made to fit your teeth. You know, everyone is different because they're made for you specifically. Um, one by one they start going in. The only thing like, you know, there's something in it, is it like, it's not concrete. So obviously we don't use concrete. I'm not a scholar guys. I don't know what it is. Okay. I'm not a dentist But there's this stuff in it that obviously makes it stick in um, So one by one it's going in. I felt pain My mother said this was the easiest part for her. For me. It was the hardest They're pushing they're pushing they're pushing all of them are in. It takes about 20 minutes half an hour maybe and all of them are in So they're like stand up see your new tea. I get up. I look in this mirror. I have tears in my eyes I am ready to cry. I am so, so happy with how my teeth look like. They look like they do now. And yes, I wore red lipstick just for this video to give you that full. Yes. Um, I'm a little bit uncomfortable. My gums are a little sore from all the pushing, you know. So I get a painkiller off Lisa that evening once I get back to the hotel and everything. I get a painkiller and I had a nap. I woke up. Pain was gone. My veneers are there. Now Lisa told us for up to two weeks after you have this, you can have some slight discomfort and slight pain. She warned us. Mine, I, my mum had a little bit of pain for five days. I had pain for seven days. We took two pairs of seat mall every day. Her for five days, me for seven. And that's all the pain out. Like it was nothing extreme, nothing bad. Um, It was a really, really quick procedure. Like getting them done in my head, I'd made it out to be so much more. Than what it was so obviously then that was the monday and we drew, flew home the tuesday so the monday evening to ourselves to do what we wanted we chilled out by the pool we went for food like we were just living our life we got to go get our teeth done and have a holiday in the one go i think five days is the minimum that you need to be there i think like you'd have to contact the page or whatever if you want to get yours done or you want to know but they do other things other than just veneers so they do like implants for a price comparison, I'll tell you how much my tea cost me, right? I think my tea were about 3,300, I think, okay? And if I was to get 22 veneers in here, I'm looking at 20 grand. 20,000 euro. I got these for 3,000 or something. These will last me 20 to 25 years, depending on how I look after them. After here, brush them. Use floss. Use mouthwash. That's it. There's no special aftercare for these. As well as that, you get a five-year warranty with your tea like warranty if anything should happen to your tea in the next five years now i'm not talking about you going your certain points and you you know you lose your tea that way that's your fault if your tooth was to crack or anything was to happen to them that's not your fault that would be up to the dentist to fix them they bring you back for free and do them that's the kind of security we got with our tea i am so happy we went with who we did um i am so happy we went with who we did i'm so happy we had an irish agent with us to tell us what was happening to go to the procedure who hadn't done ourselves that we could see the results and i only have one regret from going and that's that i waited so long my tea have absolutely changed my life i would not be here on youtube i would not be on instagram i would not be doing any of these things if i didn't have my teeth done it was the only thing in my life that was holding me back so that is my only regret 